buy the pity for speakers this year. <laughs> yeah, hey, how's it going? Yeah, yeah. that seems to work for me. Okay, yeah. I don't have keys on my side this year. Huh? Why did you match me with your sweatshirt today? I don't have keys on this side this time. Is this your thing? Hello, how's everybody doing? Ooh, I can hear myself. <laughs> No, we don't want to do that. Uh -huh. So I'm Rob with Two Bs. Um, this is my partner, Kyle, partner at Medea's, as well as my life partner. Um, we are here to, you know, raise the pride flag. We have Mayor Joyce Craig and Congressman Chris Pappas as well. There's <laughs> tons of other people. Um, we'll go through a long list if we went through everybody's name, but we do recognize everyone here, and we appreciate everyone here. Um, I don't know if you were here last year, just heard about it, saw it on the news, what have you, but as you can tell, we've tripled in size this year, which is something to be said for the city of Manchester. Um, it shows that we have the support, we have the people, and we are standing up and we're standing proud. Um, this year marks the 50th anniversary of Stonewall, which started off in New York for, um, it started off as a riot and ended up becoming a proud pride that we've celebrated for the last 50 years in the great United States that allows us to do this. Because um, freedom is something that you have to fight for sometime, and when you do it, you get equality, and that's what we all want. So that's part of why we're here, and that's why every month we stand proud. It's not to take away um, our Americanism, our patriotism, but to show that patriotism is also part of gay rights and freedom for all and equality, so that's why we do it every month. I'm not gonna talk long, because if you know me, I will talk all day, so I'm gonna cut it really short. Kyle's the man of a few words, but I'm gonna kind of put him on the spot right now and just hand the mic over. <laughs> no, thank you, I am a man of a few words, and just to add on to 50 years of Stonewall, um, it's also celebrating 10 years in New Hampshire for legalized gay marriage, so. Um, Lots of progress in the country, lots of progress in the state, in the city with Mayor, uh, with Mayor Craig has been phenomenal to embrace the community and, and do a lot more. So thank you for coming out today. So it's so great to see all of you here today. I have to thank Kyle and Rob for all that you've done for our community, uh, for being active citizens and ensuring that equality is important and at the forefront of everything that we do. So it does give me great pleasure to be here, to see this crowd that has grown tremendously, and I have a proclamation that I'd like to read. City of Manchester, a resolution. Whereas all of Manchester's residents, students, workers, visitors, and business owners, regardless of gender identity or sexual orientation, are a vital part of our community. And whereas, Manchester is home to a diverse LGBTQ community that contributes to the enrichment of our city. And whereas the LGBTQ community has fought tireless, tirelessly for equality and is committed to demonstrating support for the tolerance of all people. And whereas the fight for LGBTQ equality and equal treatment is ultimately about building a stronger community for all. And whereas LGBT Pride Month commemorates the Stonewall riots that occurred at the end of June 1969 and is a time for LGBTQ community and supporters to come together in celebration of pride. Now therefore I, Joyce Craig, Mayor of the City of Manchester, declare June 2019 to be Pride Month in the City of Manchester and encourage all citizens to recognize and celebrate the diversity of our city. Thank you so much for being here. Well, hey, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Congressman Chris Pappas, proud lifelong resident of this great city. And it's really thrilling to be here with you to celebrate Pride Month and to ensure that uh, we build on the successes that we've had, the progress that we've made, and understand that there's more work to do ahead of us. Uh, we can't get that work done without incredible allies like we have here at City Hall with Mayor Joyce Craig. And I want to commend you, Mayor, for the second year in a row raising the Pride flag um, over City Hall. This is just an incredible gesture and really important because visibility for the LGBTQ community is absolutely critical. We wouldn't have come this far over the past 50 years if individuals weren't willing to fly their own flag, to be honest about who they are, to tell their stories, 
and we all stand on their shoulders here today. We do have more work ahead of ourselves, though. Um, I was very proud with a bipartisan majority in the House to pass the Equality Act just a few weeks ago, which, which will ban once and for all discrimination in every corner of our country against the LGBTQ community. We are lucky to have good laws here in New Hampshire, but folks in most states in this country don't have those same protections, and we have to ensure that they're on the books. So let's link arms, continue to work together to achieve progress for all, ensure everyone can live their truth, can have a safe home, especially here in the city of Manchester. So happy Pride, everyone. Thanks for coming out for this. So though today is a short day for a wonderful thing, we're gonna raise the flag. Don't forget we have Pride events throughout Manchester for the entire month. Um, quick rattles just to make it easy. On Facebook, you can find all the events at Queen City Pride NH. We're doing the Pride Block Party tomorrow from 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. with action from the beginning to the end. We'll also have an after hours over at the Element Lounge. We are doing on the 28th, we're having an LGBTQ um, arcade night, Beat the Queen, over at our newest arcade in town which is Electric Avenue. We also have a block, we also have a drag brunch as well as a LGBTQ um, company night featuring um, Lady Rowe. So in July, we're keeping it going. We're doing a Pride Night at Fisher Cat Stadium, one of our proud um, stadiums here. And the YWCA is also doing a Pride Night. So we are going to show the city that we're here, we're constituents, and we count. And it, it matters. Yeah. Yeah. She might be stronger than somebody else as well. 